we cut the time to market because when you look at the moment for a new produced product it takes around three years. This is too long because in that time the company they can't react to the market needs. My name is Max Wittstamm. I'm from Germany. My background is mechanical engineering and now I'm developing AssemblyWise together with my strong team from data science and AI. When I was working in Germany, I did an internship in the automotive industry. I was very happy because I thought this is the dream work of the mechanical engineer. Actually, the engineers, they were not too happy about their work because it was so stressful. I learned that actually they are more becoming project managers, managing suppliers, uh, meeting the budgets, meeting the deadlines. We developed the AssemblyWise to help the engineers, empower them to become more free and do what they really want to create the user value. And this is what we achieve by automating the tedious manual tasks in the product development process. AssemblyWise cuts the time to market for newly introduced products by pioneering a novel spatial AI for industrial CAD data into an AI to perform the much more complicated tasks than previously just extracting the geometrical information from that data. We have seven technical team members and one from the business development side. Together we develop our algorithm um, and the software and bring this to the industry. I am Satya, co-founder of the AssemblyWise. Basically, I'm just a tech guy, like I got fascinated by technologies. And this is the first time I'm just working on this kind of mechanical complex industrial CAD data. Our core technology is mostly involving in the, the applying AI methodologies in the manufacturing uh, softwares because a lot of softwares are still manually involved, a lot of human intervention is. So we want to automate and more digitalize the manufacturing software which could improve the efficiency of the production process in the cost-effective manner. It's a multi-step process, so a lot of uh, mathematical modeling involved and a lot of complexity involved. So we need to segregate each step and modules and we need to investigate our solutions, so how we apply in the CAD systems because the things much varies from you know industry to industries like in the, even in the CAD systems. We are developing a software as a service application that will be widely available to all CAD systems and we launched our first prototype in the Onshape Cloud CAD platform. So we already have two companies using this prototype. Our software is completely based on the cloud-based software. We host our app in the AWS, so which is having the cloud-based uh, like infrastructure as a service they provided much better, as well as the security also much better. And more likely the real-time collaboration can be possible. We are just uh, currently handling a data of the contract manufacturers from the GBA area, Rumpa. So we are using their product CAD system product of trimmer assemblies. I think they are taking six hours to derive a sequence uh, we cut off the time, especially less than 20 minutes by using our app. The government, they identified the innovation as one of the major drivers of the economy. They are trying to break up this focus on the financial and the insurance by developing novel industries. Hong Kong is well connected. For example, in Germany, maybe you are in a city like um, Aachen, which has a small community. But then when you really want to meet the investor or like another stakeholder, maybe you have to go to another city which takes you almost a day, which in Hong Kong you can do like within uh, one day. Hong Kong is an interesting market because it's so dense and you can reach out very fast to the uh, consumers, to the companies, so you can get rapid market feedback. The challenging part of the, when it comes to the software, you need to find the right candidate for the, you know, developing the algorithm because we are currently having the, the couple of PhD guys like in our team, core team. You know, you need a strong foundational team so that the algorithm can mature and then optimize. So far, the talent access is good. Hong Kong is still yeah, very attractive to talent from around the world. But of course, it's also difficult to compete with the traditional strong industries like, for example, the banking and insurance. Germany is very strong in the engineering field. But the interdisciplinary collaboration between the engineering and also the AI and the data science, that is still lacking, I would say. 
universities, the institutes, they are still focusing a lot on their mechanical engineering field. So they are lacking the technical depth on the software side. For our project, we have the great opportunities here with the proximity of the strong manufacturing base in mainland China. So we also collaborated with the manufacturer in, uh, for example, in Jiangmen. And um, it was very uh, interesting to see how many manufacturers they operate because it's basically still the, the workshop of the world. And that's a big potential. But of course also still Hong Kong's global ties here in our science park where they provide the facilities and the infrastructure also for the startups as well as the um, ideation and incubation programs which are a very good first step for the startup to progress. Besides that, the government also will have more funding in the future, especially also to attract the investment. They have the uh, InnoCell, which is a co-living space, especially for the people of the Hong Kong Science Park, which can provide more affordable um, housing. That is a good step in the right direction. Now we are focusing more on offering a proof of concept where we work together with the company for like a certain time period, like maybe four to six months and where we really integrate our application into their system, into their processes, and then also improve the product based on their needs. Our mission is to empower engineers to create user value.